Merhabalar, ben Sercan. Welcome back to your Turkish journey. Today we're gonna learn how we use I do not know in Turkish. We will also learn how to say I don't know doing something. Well, basically, when we want to say I don't know in Turkish, what we say is bilmiyorum. Bilmiyorum. That's it. Very simple. Now, let's dive into some details. Bilmek is the infinitive verb and it means to know. Bilmek. In English, I don't know is in the simple present tense. However, in Turkish, we conjugate the verb in the present continuous tense to mean I don't know as it is used in English. For that, we need to attach the negation suffix to the verb stem depending on the vowel harmony and then we add the tense suffix for the present continuous tense and at the end we attach the person suffix. The verb stem of the infinitive verb bilmek is bil. Bil, as we have already learned in the previous lessons. Then we attach the negation suffix and then we attach the tense suffix. In this case, it is your, your. Then we attach the person suffix. So let's attach it for the first singular person. As you see, what we obtain is bilmeyorum, bilmeyorum. Here, because of the your suffix, the e sound at the end of the negation suffix changes to e. This rule is called vowel mutation and I have already made a video about it. If you want to know when and how this rule takes place, you can go and watch that video. The link is in the description for you. Anyways, at the end, what we say is bilmiyorum, bilmiyorum, and this means I don't know. Bilmiyorum, that's it. Whenever somebody asks you a question and you don't know the answer, you can simply say bilmiyorum, bilmiyorum. If you want to sound more native and stress that you don't know, you will say bilmiyorum ya, bilmiyorum ya. And if you want to point out that you don't know following a series of questions and you feel overwhelmed, then you will say Bilmiyorum ya, bilmiyorum ya, or bilmiyorum dedim ya, bilmiyorum dedim ya. And if you want to say I don't know at all, then what you're gonna say is hiç bilmiyorum, hiç bilmiyorum, or you can also say hiç bilmiyorum ya, hiç bilmiyorum ya. And if you want to say I really don't know, then you would say gerçekten bilmiyorum. Gerçekten bilmiyorum. Or you can also say Hakikaten bilmiyorum. Hakikaten bilmiyorum. But obviously, other than people asking you questions, you may want to form a sentence in which you want to express that you don't know something. This verb, bilmek, almost always requires the accusative case suffix on the direct object. Because what you know or you don't know is simply specific. And if you don't know what accusative case means and when we use it, please go and check those videos first. The link to the playlist is in the description as usual. But let's go on. For example, if you want to say, I don't know the answer, what you're going to say is, cevabı bilmiyorum, cevabı bilmiyorum. Cevap means answer. Cevap. It receives the accusative case suffix ı according to the vowel harmony. And since this suffix is a vowel, p at the end of the word turns to b due to the consonant mutation rule. And what we say is cevabı bilmiyorum. Cevabı bilmiyorum. If you say cevap bilmiyorum, that will be incorrect. Now, let's make it a little bit more complicated. If you want to say, I don't know the answer to the question, then 
We will say, sorunun cevabını bilmiyorum. Sorunun cevabını bilmiyorum. Sorunun cevabı literally means the answer of the question. And this is a definite noun phrase in Turkish. So the accusative case suffix will be attached to this noun phrase. We attach the accusative suffix ı and the buffer letter N comes in between. Sorunun cevabını bilmiyorum. Sorunun cevabını bilmiyorum. Now, let's take a look at how we can express that we don't know how to do something. If you want to say that you don't know how to cook, one way how we say it in Turkish is Yemek yapmayı bilmiyorum. Yemek yapmayı bilmiyorum. Yemek yapmak means to cook. Yemek yapmak. This literally means to make food. Yemek yapmak. Yapma is the verbal noun version of the infinitive verb yapmak. I'm not going to explain the verbal nouns in detail today, but I have a very short introduction video if you are interested. The link is in the description. Yemek yapma literally means making food. Yemek yapma. As I have mentioned before, the verb bilmek requires the accusative case suffix. In this case, the accusative case suffix ı will be attached to yemek yapma. And again, we will need the buffer letter ye in between. So, what we obtain is yemek yapmayı bilmiyorum. Yemek yapmayı bilmiyorum. This sentence literally means I don't know cooking. Now let's see more examples. Bisiklete binmeyi bilmiyorum. Bisiklete binmeyi bilmiyorum. Bisiklet sürmeyi bilmiyorum. Bisiklet sürmeyi bilmiyorum. Bilgisayar kullanmayı bilmiyorum. Bilgisayar kullanmayı bilmiyorum. Satranç oynamayı bilmiyorum. Satranç oynamayı bilmiyorum. Kayak yapmayı bilmiyorum. Kayak yapmayı bilmiyorum. We can definitely form different sentence structures with bilmiyorum. But let's keep them for future videos. Now, you guys write down some sentences in the comments for me and tell me what you don't know to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. See you in the next videos. Görüşmek üzere.